Hi, so today we're going to talk about uh, how to create Google clone using Vue.js. So when I say clone, uh, it means exact lookalike, right? But uh, in my uh, demonstration, I'm not going to you know, show you how to build an exact lookalike, but I'm going to show you uh, how to implement uh, that uh, similar functionality. And people who want to clone it probably can refer to my code and then uh, optimize it in a better way, refactor it, and then you know, uh, create a, a more effective uh, or more better clone. All right. So now, uh, in order to accomplish this, I'm going to use Vue.js and then um, and I've used custom search API. So all you need to do is go to Google and search custom search API. All right. And then click on this. It's right over there, developers.google.com. Just click on this. And then uh, just scroll down. Yeah, just a moment. I say create a search engine and then scroll down. Yep. So go to this page over here, developers.google.com, then custom search, then V1, and then using REST. And then you have um, API key. So against this, you have a link. Just click on this, identify your application. And you got to say, get key. So once you say get key, you would be given an API key. So you need to select a project. Um, let's say for example, you select some project over here, or if you don't have any projects, just create a project and then say next. And look at this, this is your API key. Just note this, copy this and note it somewhere. All right, and then you have Another key, another key called CX. So just a moment, yeah. Go back. Over here. And then add search engine. So when you say add search engine, you need to, um, you know, key in, a certain values, uh, probably a site to search. Give, if you have a website, probably you can give your website name or if you're gonna create a new website, probably give the domain name and then name of the search engine and then say create. So now, for example, I have already created one. So just go to this and once you create, it looks, the interface looks like this you probably have to scroll a little bit down and say search entire web turn this to of uh, on I mean switch this on All right now after that let's switch back to vivejs so now all the coding has to be done over here so I have created a new view uh, project, created a component called Google search dot view. And <clears throat> yeah, pretty simple. Now if you look at Google, it has only one input box. Let's say for example, google.com. So if you look at this, it has just one single um, text box and then two buttons over here. 
so the way I mimic this is <clears throat> okay before this uh, you may have to uh, you know use this image so just copy this image and then use it in a project of course uh, this should be used only for the learning purpose so and once you create your Vue.js project you basically have three different sections one is template section and script section over here and then style section so style section basically has um, uh, all your CSS classes and then in your uh, template section you may have to include your UI components so I've created a form tag and then inside that form tag uh, I have an input uh, box over here so I've used bootstrap for all these uh, enough, uh, styling purpose and and then you have two buttons Google search and I'm feeling lucky button so for that I have used uh, this class button light so probably you can go to bootstrap you may have to bear with me since my internet is a little slow today yep so this is your bootstrap home page here you can you know <clears throat> go to contents uh, take a look at this grid system over here and then go to layouts go to components so here you have all these you know, different components let's say for example buttons you can find all the classes related to buttons And then you have something called light over here. So this is what I'm gonna use for you know, uh, Google search button. You can take an example over here, make use of same class. And the way to plug in this bootstrap in your Vue.js is to simply say npm install bootstrap. And in your main JS, you may have to import this bootstrap.main.css now coming back to google search component so you have a button component and an input component and then uh, you have view model v model which uh, binds your uh, user input data to your model data so <clears throat> over here so I'm gonna say in the script section, I'm gonna say import Axios from Axios, which interacts with uh, Axios is again, a kind of SCDP client, which interacts with your APIs, helps you interact with your APIs, yeah. So now uh, I have data and data follows, followed by return. Now I have all the properties over here. Mm, I'm gonna say keyword, keyword is your search criteria. Response is your, you know, uh, a response that is, um, you know returned by an API and we have two different keys API key and CX key which we got from your Google uh, custom search uh, API over here over here so making use of that um, we have method section wherein we're gonna call a function called search and then uh, we're gonna use a sync await keyword over here and then we're gonna you know, call get method of axios so this is an api which is given by google um, you just need to uh, key in your api key and cx key and then the keyword so keyword is your search criteria so uh, this is uh, a free API which is given by Google. Uh, there is a limitation to this 100 uh, searches per day. 
so be wise in utilizing this api so now uh, you are going to say axios dot get get uh, method takes url as a parameter api url as a parameter so once you append your api key cx key and the keyword over here uh, you are now return some response and then that response uh, uh, i'm going to say response dot data dot items so this response object i'm going to assign it to uh, response array all right so again i'm going to log that in my console and now you need to bind this response item so the way i'm doing it is i'm going to go to this section div tag um, and under this div tag i have uh, a list being created and in this li section i have v4 which is a for each loop which loops through your response uh, items and then i'm going to say key is equal to item dot title you can choose maybe if you have id you can choose id all right and then uh, what are the three things we need to bind so if you go to google uh, let's say you know view js so you going to bind this title i'm sorry this link and this title title again has a link inside and then this is your snippet so these three information i would like to bind so here are the three enough uh items from the list uh, from the response array which i'm going to bind link and then <clears throat> title and then snippet so that is it you can go to this command prompt and say npm run dev i just received an error so probably i'm going to try something else i would say npm run serve so it's going to take a while it says starting development server it's going to take a while so maybe we may need to wait for a while yeah so it's trying to build your solution you may like to include white so that uh the build is faster compiling time is lesser all right so now we have a local host link over here i'm just going to copy this oh, well this is going crazy i'm going to copy this open my browser paste it over here well there you are so i have this google image over here then search box and then two buttons google search and i'm feeling lucky button so i'm just gonna open my developer tools just to show you api results so i'm gonna give some search criteria let's say view js and i'm gonna hit search button all right now look at this so we have all the necessary information in the form of list so well this search results may not look exactly as over here but this is just for demonstration maybe when you create the clone uh, probably you can you know uh, style it in uh, a different way which looks very similar to this yeah so all i wanted to show you is how to bind your uh, response uh, in the ui which we get from custom search api 
Yeah. So we have bound this uh, title, I mean, uh, link. This is your title. This is again a link. And uh, well, 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 this is a snippet. This is a snippet title. This is, would be a title. And then this would be a link. Yeah. And this would be your JSON object, which is received from API. So if you expand this, you would see all the search results. So this is how you're gonna build a Google clone. Uh, probably you can optimize it in a better way. So this is just a small demonstration to show how to utilize custom search API and then kind of, um, use it to you know, create Google clone. Yeah, thank you.